Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad you guys came over today to see this household haul. Um, I had a few things to get for gifts and different things like that and then I also had um, just some household things that I wanted to get and I was also um, getting ready for a Memorial Day cookout that we're having at our house. So this is kind of a hodgepodge of all of that. So it's everything that I got at Walmart except for food. And it cost $450, that's right, <laughs> that's crazy. But um, I'll go through and show you guys what I got. All right, you guys, here is kind of my overview. And it has spilled onto this side of my sink as well. I actually bought this contact paper. I really like this one that has um, the bleach, the Clorox with it. And I used it in my old house. I actually used a dark color. In this house, I hadn't got a chance to put any in yet, so I went ahead and picked that up. Like I said, we're having a Memorial Day party, so this was stuff for the party. I got plates and um, these forks. I actually think these clear forks are the best ones if you're looking for cutlery. And my tip to you guys is that usually you only need forks, honestly, because unless you're serving ice cream or something like that, you really, for cookouts and things like that, just buy forks and everybody's happy. I went ahead and got some red cups because I had colorful ones and I wanted some Memorial Day colors and I thought that would be good, but I only got one pack. This is a couple of the desserts for the party. I went ahead and I thought these were actually really fun and I could put them in a really cute bowl. And they are just pretzels that are frosted. I actually got these star cookies because I just figured little kids and they were just sprinkle cookies and everybody loves those. Um, you can't ever go wrong with a sugar cookie. These I thought were so good and I think I'm gonna do a, like a tear tray of some desserts and so I just got these for now. I need to actually go back and get more. I actually thought these little picks were really cute. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them in. I only bought two and they were just a dollar but I thought they'd be really cute and I can reuse them for the 4th of July. Also this star confetti I thought would be really cute to put on my tables and it was only a dollar as well and I thought it was pretty good because there was 12 pieces and the stars were actually really big. Uh, my tip to you on this is don't get the really small confetti because you never know about babies and things like that. When Ryan was a baby he actually pulled some confetti at a party and choked on it and I about died with worry and I had to actually reach down and grab the confetti and it was awful. So if you have little kids and you want to do something on the table this is a really good alternative. Me and Ryan were actually looking at some uh, toys because he was looking for a specific toy and I saw these on clearance. So don't ever forget to check the clearance throughout the year because I got this Lego on sale for $4 and this one on sale for $5 and it has a carrying case and I can save those for my neighbors for Christmas and that is easy done under $10 and looks like I spent a whole bunch more. Now on to the products and the cleaning products. I actually needed uh, for our second bathroom just got done being remodeled so I needed an extra long shower curtain and a rod for that. There was lots of different rods and I actually got the cheapest one that I thought would work and this, these have always done me well. So um, I am trying out the stainless steel cleaners by Wayman. I see this hauled on YouTube all the time and I see cleaning videos where people love it. Mine did not have the spray bottle, it just had this aerosol one, but I am I have a stainless steel, new stainless steel refrigerator and um, stove and all of that, my microwave stainless steel, so I really wanted to try some good product on it because I, nothing I have tried has looked, has actually cleaned and not streaked. So I went ahead and got a microfiber cloth for that. Uh, this is actually two towels for 97 cents and I think that's better than the Dollar Tree. 
I went ahead and got some soap. I, if I'm going to Walmart, I always get the Dial and I always get clear soap, antibacterial. If I happen to be going somewhere where I could get Method, like Target or Lowe's, I get Method because I, um, I actually think that's better. But if I'm only going to Walmart, I always get this and it has done me well for years and years. Here's a few products that I've gotten. I've got a um, manicure set for 97 cents that I desperately needed. I got an eyebrow brush, a dual eyebrow brush from e.l.f. for a dollar. I needed some stud earrings and so I settled on these. I actually got three different lip glosses and that's what made my total a little bit higher um, because you know lip gloss there. A little bit more expensive actually and so these were seven eight dollars for for each one so um, I'm gonna try this Revlon one you guys can pretty much tell I like this color I really like uh, the Maybelline stay glossy I really like this it just doesn't stay um, as long as say like this Maybelline 24 hours this actually works and stays I've never tried the Revlon and it has a cute little top, so we're gonna try that out. And I actually got this little palette from Revlon that I'm trying as well for eyeshadow. I needed some more dry shampoo, so I went ahead and got um, this one. And it's texturing dry shampoo. I actually think I did not want texturing. But we'll try it out and see how it goes. Um, it smells actually really good. And the other dry shampoo I've been using just doesn't smell very good. So I wanted to try a new one. Um, I went ahead and got some deodorant. Last year I started using a spray one. And when it was gone I switched back to a solid. And I didn't like it as well. So once I used it up I went back to the spray. Uh, this is just a regular room spray and it is in coconut beach woods and I just wanted this because I was having that party I told you guys about. Um, I went ahead and got some face wash. This is ultra calming face wash because I didn't know if I would make it to Ulta and I'm just very in need of it at the moment. But I have kind of some redness, probably some rosacea, so I'm trying this out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I actually use the Pond's Moisturizing Cream and it has worked very, very well for me. I love it just as much as the It Cosmetics Confidence Cream and it is about $40 cheaper. And so I heard about this actual cold cream and makeup remover and so I actually wanted to try it. I had um, some lip gloss right here on my, um, you can faintly see the top one and I was testing out different colors right here on my wrist and I opened this in the store to get that off and it, it really took it off. The top one was like a stay, like a 24 hour stay, so you can kind of see it, but the bottom one you can't see at all, so I'm excited to try that. I went ahead and grabbed a face mask because I love a face mask and I really wanted to try this one for a dollar. I was looking at these perfumes and this one is kind of those knockoff sprays and this one is the DKNY and I love that. I love that perfume. So I thought I would try this. I actually use the, it sounds terrible, but even since, since I was in high school I've used the U2 that comes like this spray and it is comparable to uh, CK1. So if you're looking for a good alternative. Um, to a really expensive spray, you might try these or need a gift or something like that. This was actually the Equate brand that is supposed to be comparable to Miracle 10. And Miracle 10 is what I use on my hair every single day, but um, it is quite pricey. Miracle 10 is like $20 for a bottle this size. This was half the price, so I'm going to try it out. And I looked at the ingredients on the back and they seemed almost the same. I'm going to go ahead and try this Natural Glow. I know people love this stuff, um, but I have never tried it, so I'm going to try it just to give me a little tan because I'm a white, white girl. Um, I went ahead and got some shampoo and conditioner, and I kind of go back and forth between this one and Aussie and uh, name brands, and but this one has always done me good, so I went ahead and got that one. 
I picked up an ice bucket because we've been having a lot of parties lately and my ice has been melting like crazy. So this is like an insulated little bucket and I think that this will actually um, be really, really convenient. This is sunscreen and I love this. Um, I was tempted to buy the spray, but I just didn't want to pull the trigger and spend um, the $10 yet to buy the spray. And these single use ones were actually a dollar for each one. And so I thought this would be really good to throw in my purse because the other day we were at the zoo and I really needed some for my son and I did not have any. And I might go ahead and grab a few more and this might be the ticket for us um, throughout the summer because I do have some other sunscreen that would work. I desperately needed some makeup remover wipes and I went ahead and got these because I went ahead and got this Equate brand just to see how they would be and if this size package would fit in the container that I use. My son actually has a recital tonight and I said I would bring a veggie tray and cookies. So I just went ahead and grabbed those instead of making them myself. Paid a little bit more, but the convenience was worth it on this day for me. Son actually found this and I just thought it was really cute. I could throw it in my purse if we were going somewhere really hot during the summer. And I told him I'll buy it for you as long as you don't break it or let any of anybody else play with it. But isn't it cute? But in our hot summers, this is going to be a godsend. I can already see it. And then I went ahead and grabbed some paper towels. These are my favorite. I love using the Scott paper towels. And I went ahead and got some uh, toilet paper. I really like this quilted northern, so I grabbed that. I told you guys I needed some graduation gifts, so I actually got these gift Bibles. They are the NLT version, and I like an NLT version because it kind of dumbs it down for us a little bit, and I love that. So I'm actually going to highlight a bunch of my favorite verses and write um, like a note inside and kind of give it to them as a graduation present as a keepsake. And then I got, um, it's two different boys, and I got, um, Apple gift cards for them as well. My son started reading this book and I would never think that he would like it, want it, or anything like that. And he started reading this in the store and the words and the story description were awesome. He was reading it out loud and he asked if he could um, use the rest of his allowance on this and he exactly had $13 so I went ahead and bought that for him. Uh, this Time and True uh, shirt was actually on clearance, I want to say for $5, and I really like that it was thin and light. Uh, for the graduation gifts that I just showed you guys, I actually saw this tissue paper and I thought it was really cute. So I paid $1.48 for the tissue paper, but I only paid a dollar for each bag. Instead of buying the traditional um, black and gold bags, I thought this would be funner and cheaper and just as effective and I actually really liked the color scheme. I saw this game about a week ago and I thought since we were having a party in case it rained like crazy that we would have a really fun game to play and it's a would you rather game and I did not realize that it says kind of clean party edition and I was like oh no so hopefully it won't be too bad. And I'll let you guys know how that game, how fun that game is. We we like games around here. So. My last thing is I got two different outfits. And so I got this shirt with some embroidery on the top and it's just a long flowing shirt. And I thought that was really pretty and very versatile for the summer. And I saw, I saw this and I actually really liked it. Um, I'm gonna try it on and see how it looks, but I really liked the neckline more than anything else. You never find anything that's a square neckline, and I really liked the embroidery on here. It was I was actually very impressed for Walmart about with this embroidery. I went ahead and grabbed two jeggings, and I've never bought a jegging before, 
but it says mid-rise, which whew, we all need a mid-rise to hold stuff in, and it said fitted, and so I'm gonna see how they look. I have a really hard time with skinny jeans, and I know people love them, but I have a really hard time getting used to them, so I'm gonna try these. If I don't like them, I'm just gonna take them back, but they're actually really soft. This new line that they're carrying, Time and True, I've actually been pretty impressed with the quality so far. It's really soft material. And we can't forget, I actually got this um, mat. It's like a memory foam mat that's supposed to help your feet. And I got one for, um, I got one f actually for right here because I just felt like mine was a little bit worn. And they charged me for two, and this mat was $24.97. So my husband said, well, you best go back and get the other mat. So I'm actually on my way there now to do that. So that was it for this household haul. I'm so glad that you guys came over um, to check it out. And I will let you know about some of the reviews I have after I use the products. I'm so glad that you guys came by. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next brand new video. I put out content as fast as I can make it. And right now I'm trying to upload from Sunday through Thursday. So I will see you all in the next brand new video. Thank you again.